Sometimes patients elect to add other procedures to their lower face and neck lift. We, most of the time we do fat transfer and fat transfer to replace areas that have lost volume throughout the years, uh, most commonly into the cheek. And some patients are really lucky enough to have very high cheekbones, but they still lose a little bit of volume right under their eyes. So we try to replenish this with some fat. And the way I do the fat transfer, I never over inject. The body will absorb 50% of the fat that we inject, but I always rather err on the side of uh, safety than to over inject. Sometimes patients come back actually for more fat transfer. Other procedures we add are upper eyelid blepharoplasty, and this is extremely popular. The, the way we do it is muscle sparing and fat sparing. So we really don't want to give this hollow appearance in the upper eyelid. We want to keep things really smooth. Once you remove some of the fat and, and some of the muscle from the upper eyelid, we get into the risk of having hollow appearance. And you can see this on, on some celebrities actually. Finally, the laser resurfacing, we do that for the, for the lines around the lips and for the crow's feet and for the excess skin under the eyelids, sometimes on the upper eyelids and sometimes in, in, um, for the 11 lines uh, between the eyes. So those are the, the most popular procedures that we add uh, to our lower face and neck.